Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do three different eyeliner looks on monoliths just because I know how hard it can be to find a tutorial to do eyeliner on our eyelids just because a lot of the tutorials out there are people who have double eyelids so it can be a little hard to try to use that tutorial on our eyes just because our eyes are different. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a lifted liner so like a cat eye straight liner and then puppy liner on monolids. So in this video, not only am I going to be showing you how to draw your actual liner, I'll also be showing you how to balance your overall eye look so that your eyeliner isn't just floating there on its own. So before we get into the actual tutorial part of the video, I just wanted to talk about the different liners that you can use to draw your wing. The easiest product would be a gel pencil liner, which would be something like this. So this type of product would be the best for beginners because this is a lot easier to erase. This type of liner is also really good for looks where you want your eye makeup to be a little more natural or if you're going to be doing a smudged liner look. So the next type of liner is liquid liner which can be a little harder to erase which is why I personally would recommend it for someone who is a little more used to drawing eyeliner. So the first liner look I'm going to be showing you guys how to do is a lifted liner or a cat eye. Before going straight into the liner, I'm going to be doing the base of my eye makeup first. It's good to extend your eyeshadow to where you're going to be drawing your liner just so it balances everything out and this prevents it from looking like your eyeliner just floating there on its own. So for my base color, I'm going to take a very light beige and apply it all over my lid. Now since the first look that we're doing is a cat eye, I'm also going to take the beige color and extend it above where I'll be drawing my liner. Now I'll be taking a darker brown color and applying it to the end triangle of my eyes right here and then extending it upwards. Now also apply this brown color on the inner part of your eye right here. Now I'm going to take a glitter color and apply it to the middle of my eye. Now for the actual liner, I personally only draw the end corner of my eye and the actual wing because if I open my eyes, you aren't going to be able to see the liner that I drew right above my lash line. However, if you do have eyes that doesn't have that fold and you can see that area right above your lash line, drawing that in will make your eyes look a little bigger. So I'm just starting at the corner of my eye and filling in the ends of my lash line. Then I'm going to go out and extend it upwards, but you don't want to go up really dramatically because it's just not going to flow correctly with your eye shape, so you're just going to start slanting it naturally. So this is the slant that I'm going to be working with, and I'm just going to clean it up a little with a cotton swab. Now I'm just going to fill in that little dip right here. Now that's it for the actual wing and for people who are a little stuck on where to end your liner, it's good to end before the end of your eyebrow. Now just to make sure that your eye look is a little more cohesive with the liner that you drew, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of shadow to bring everything together. So with a little thinner brush, I'm going to be taking the brown shadow and putting it into the corners of my eye under my wing, but I'm going to avoid the inner part of the eye right here. Now I'm also taking a really thin brush to redraw my inner corners and do my bottom lash line. Now I'm just going to shade under my igusal. Now all the shadow under our eyes can darken and emphasize our dark circles, so I'm just going to go in with a lighter concealer and brighten it up again. And now to finish the whole eye look, I'm going to go in with my usual mascara routine. Now 
Now when I do my bottom lashes, I focus on the middle and front pieces because doing the ends can make it look a little messy. Now I'm just going to do my other eye. So the second liner look that I'm going to be showing you guys how to do is straight liner. And this is also one of the more natural looking liners. So especially if you're drawing a thinner line, this can be good for everyday makeup. So again, we're going to start by applying a beige shade all over our eyelid. But instead of bringing it out upwards, we're going to bring it out towards the end. Now taking a darker brown shade, we're going to do the same thing. Now apply the brown to the inner part of your eye. And we're going to take the shimmer shade all over the middle of our eyelid. Now for the liner, we're going to start in the same area at the end of our eyes, right here. And we're going to fill in the area right above our lash line. Now when we extend it outwards, we aren't going to lift it, we're just going to bring it out towards the side. Now we're just going to fill in that little gap that we have. Now taking a thinner brush and a darker brown shade, we're going to fill in under our liner. Now with the very thin brush, we're going to take the darkest brown and redraw our inner corner and lash line. So we're just going to brighten our under eyes. Now at this point is where you're going to be doing your mascara routine. I still have my mascara on from the other liner look from earlier. So I am just going to be doing the other eye. So for the final eyeliner, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do puppy liner, which is a downturn liner look. Now for puppy liner, since our liner is going to be going downwards, we are going to be applying our shadow downwards as well. Now I'm going to be taking the darker brown shade and filling in the ends of my eye. Then to balance it out, I'm applying it to the front corner of my eye. Then I'm applying a shimmer shadow to the center of my eyelid. For the actual eyeliner, we're going to be starting at the same place and filling in the area right above the ends of our lash line. When bringing our eyeliner out, we don't want it to go down too abruptly because that is going to close off your eye. Another thing we don't want to do is bring our liner lower than the front corner of our eyes because that's going to make our eyes look a little too droopy and really tired. So as we bring it outwards, we're just going to bring it down slightly and check the alignment with our inner corner. So for me, I think right here is a good place to stop and then right at the ends, I'm going to bring it straight a little. Now with the flatter brush, I'm taking the brown color and filling in the triangle under our liner. And with the thin brush, I'm going to be doing the same thing as the other looks and filling in the inner corner and redrawing the bottom lash line. We are going to lighten it with a lighter concealer. At this point, this is where you're going to be doing your mascara. I'm just going to be doing my other eye. So that is it for this video. Hopefully this was helpful for anyone who is looking to do eyeliner on their monolids. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to... Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as comment any other tips and tricks that you may have on doing your liner so that everyone... And if you have any other tips and tricks when it comes to drawing your eyeliner, don't forget to comment it down below so that we can all share. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm.